Hi guys, just a short video from me today. This is a video from my birthday and uh, I took myself off for a lovely coast path walk and I thought I'd take you with me. You can see I got some beautiful flowers and some chocolates and many, many other things. I was very spoiled. And yeah, let's go on a coast path walk together, shall we? Um, this is my little village and the coast path goes obviously either direction, but today I chose to go towards Cudden Point and Prussia Cove because it really was a stunning day. Let's not forget that this was the end of February, the 26th, and it was like a summer's day. I absolutely love walking. I really love walking alone. I think it's really good for thinking about everything and for just allowing yourself to almost kind of have a moving meditation and to really observe and be grateful for everything around you. I mean, just look at this view. You can't not be grateful for it. I definitely wore the wrong shoes. I was not intending on taking such a long walk. I was gone for a good two and a half hours, three hours or something. But I just, once I got going, I just wanted to keep going. So just not far off the village here, looking back over Mount's Bay and St. Michael's Mount in the background and watching the waves come in. You can't beat it. It's so, so beautiful there. Absolutely stunning. I'm so lucky to live here. I really love when the weather's like this, the colour contrast, the turquoise sea and the colours of the plants and everything. I mean, look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. I find it also relaxing and it just makes me really appreciate everything. The one thing I do find sad, and you notice it more when you live by a beach, is the amount of plastic and litter that gathers up. And so this particular part here is not really a beach that's used so much by the public, um, but it does get a lot of weather bringing in larger pieces of plastic and waste and stuff. So it kind of gets gathered up there and I think taken away every now and again. Oh, this little guy or girl, um, not sure which, was loitering around and gathering twigs and bits and pieces and uh, let me quite close to it so I stood there for quite a long time <laughs> just watching it because it was really cute. Look at him. So cute. Everywhere you turn on this walk there is something to look at and I stop so many times just because I'm in awe of this place. I always have been ever since coming to Cornwall for the first time but living here I stand there and I think wow you know I can't believe I live here, it's incredible, and everywhere you turn there's something new to see and it's just so open and for me this is like therapy, walking this walk and seeing nature in this way. Even if the weather's not so great it still looks so beautiful and I just lose myself in it completely. I really love walking along the coast path, I absolutely love it. I find myself running up the hills and getting myself really out of breath and just kind of allowing my body to, to really move and be in the moment and it feels incredible. But looking out at that really open sea, looking over towards Penzance and Mara's Island there, stunning. And then right here I'm heading up towards Cudden Point, sometimes they have um, little New Forest ponies and um, they're allowed to feed up on Coven Point for a while, they're on loan for a while um, but there was none there this day, it's usually more into the spring but um, it's so beautiful anyway. But they are quite tame but they, they stand right on the cliff edge and when, uh, they are uh, eating all the grass and things, they're ever so cute. There's Coven Point there, looking right out over the ocean. And I decided to walk on a bit further, which I don't do that often, if at all. Um, but you've got Pras Sands over there, it's Prussia Cove around the corner. And the colours were so gorgeous, I just wanted to walk on a little bit more and take it, take it all in. I really wanted to wear myself out this day, I remember just thinking, but I want to stride it out and wear my body out a bit. But standing at the top of the cliff edge like this and watching the birds and it's just nature at its finest, isn't it? As I wandered around to Prussia Cove, I uh, stumbled across a, I don't know what you'd call it, 
like a pole thing <laughs> that stuck out. You guys can probably tell me what this is. Um, you'll see a close, up, a close up of it in a second. But there's some chains down there as well that were obviously left from quite a while ago. Um, don't know what they're used for, but I'm sure somebody will know. Tell me in the comments. Um, but yeah, look at that. Such a gorgeous view. I mean, everywhere you look, you guys, if you come to Cornwall, walk the coast paths, they are the best. They really, really are. And the one going the other direction from Peronithno around to um, Mare's Iron is, is gorgeous in its own right too, but not quite as rugged as this. There was no one around that day. Literally, I only saw a few people um, and only a couple in the distance, really. But yeah, here we go, look. So this is this, uh, whatever this is. I don't know what this is. Someone will know, you can tell me. Um, and I went as far as Prussia Cove and then I turned around and I went home. Um, I'd been gone a long time, so I thought I'd better go back and get myself a drink. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and we want to see more from me. But thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.